What's up everyone? Welcome to Rex Engine. This video is going to show you how to use the dialogue pop-ups in Rex Engine. So Rex has had the ability to show dialogue pop-ups for a long time now, but the newly released version 1.35 adds a really cool ability, which is that it used to be that you could only have one page of dialogue. And the new version lets you have as many pages as you would like. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the dialogue manager, how to stylize your dialogue boxes and swap in different graphics or sounds, and how to set up multiple pages of dialogue anywhere in the game. So to start with, we've got this component here called the dialogue pop-up. And you can create those from the Rex palette window under Window, Rex Engine, Rex Palette, under the Gimmick Headline. And pretty early on in the list, you'll see the dialogue pop-up option there. So if I click on that, it'll create another dialogue pop-up. But in this case, we've already got one here on the stage. So what you're going to see on the dialogue pop-up in the inspector is basically a dialogue pop-up script and a box collider. So the box collider lets you collide with that to trigger the dialogue to show. And if you don't want that, if you just want the dialogue to show up automatically, you can click the Will Auto Show box here on the dialogue pop-up component, and that'll make it so the dialogue shows up immediately when the player enters the scene. So let's test this out really quick. I'll just give this one page of text. It says, Happy Thanksgiving. Um, we can look at the anatomy of this here. It's got, it's just a list of pages. You can make that as many pages as you want. It's one page right now. So we'll test that first, and then I'll show you guys multiple pages afterwards. And every page has its own line of text. So in this case, it just says, Happy Thanksgiving, because I'm topical. So we should see when I hit play here, is as soon as I run into this box glider, it's going to trigger a dialogue pop-up. And there we go, we've got Happy Thanksgiving. If I hit the, uh, the jump button to advance the text, that's the only page, so it disappears. So let's give it a second page. Um, let's say something incredibly stupid like, the turkeys are invading, run for your life. A typical down-home Thanksgiving. So page one, happy Thanksgiving. Page two, the turkeys are invading, run for your life. So this can be as many pages as you want it to be. So that's basically it. It's a pretty straightforward component. Um, just to reiterate, you create it from the Rex palette, dialogue pop-up, and then all you have to do is input your text. Um, and you can resize the box collider if you want so that it triggers when the player enters different areas. That's all up to you. And so the last thing I want to go over in this video is how to stylize the dialog box. So if you look under the Rex Engine folder, Rex Engine, Resources, System, and drag out the Singletons game object onto the stage, if we expand that, we can see um, somewhere in here we have a dialog manager component. There we go. So this has everything you need for dialog boxes. So if I click on that, um, there's a couple of options here in the inspector. There's delay between letters, which is basically how fast the letters come in in the dialog box. Um, you can adjust the width of the text field. Um, this will not adjust the graphic. This is just how long it takes for a line of text before it moves on to a new line. Um, you can change uh, the show sound, which plays when the dialog box first appears, and the hide sound, which is what plays when the dialog box disappears. So if we drill down into this guy, um, let me move it away from the background so you guys can see it better. So we can see the graphic here for the back of the dialog box. And it's pretty straightforward. It's just a sprite. Um, it's on the default sorting layer, and it's set to be negative 1, so it appears behind everything else. And it's also on the UI, sorting, or the UI layer at the top here. Um, so you can change this graphic to be anything you would like. It's just a regular sprite. And also, 
the, um, the advance icon that appears when it's time to go to a new page is also just a sprite. You can swap those in, swap them out, um, scale them, animate them, whatever you feel like. That's really easy. And then just make sure that the text mesh object here is toggled to be off. And then hit apply on your singletons. And those changes should update the text box everywhere in the game. Um, so that's it. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.